Well, hello everybody. Joy here. It is now June 30. Oh my gosh, last day of June. The year's half over. Can you believe it? 2015. And my oldest grandson that I call Boo Bear, who's a soldier and he's stationed at Fort Hood, his birthday's 4th of July. And uh, he's coming next week to see his papa and his grandma, and I'm so excited. I'm going to catch up on a whole bunch of hugs. So anyway, here it is. You asked me to show you my new blouse. This is nothing that exciting style-wise, but it is my new SureFit Designs blueprint. I have lost over 15 pounds, and so... All of my many, many, many blueprints and styles that I've made before are too big for me. All of the blouses in my closet are huge on me. I mean, I can pull them way out here. I must have really been fat. <laughs> you know, I didn't even think I was fat then. But now that I've lost all this weight, I thought, oh my goodness, I really had gained some weight and didn't know it. So anyhow, this what I love about this the most is the material. Let me get up close and see if you can see the shiny gold in it. Can you see the shiny gold? I hope it doesn't wash away as I clean the blouse. Terry just loves it. I almost gave it to Terry. She loved it so much, but I decided she wouldn't make it into a blouse. She'd make it into a quilt, so I kept it for myself. <laughs> oh, and matching jewelry. Oh, my goodness. You know, I make jewelry. And I had these clasps that were magnetic clasps, and I had made several bracelets with the magnetic clasp. But I'd be walking around, and you know, I'm a very hand motion talker person, and I would be talking, and my bracelet would just fly across the room. One time it flew off my wrist in the parking lot underneath a parked car. So I contacted Fire Mountain, where I buy my uh, jewel, jewelry stuff from, and said, do you have any strong magnets? <laughs> Oh yes, they have strong magnets, let me tell you. So I sent back all the other magnets that weren't very good, and I ordered their new magnets. Well, I'll tell you what. <laughs> if I wave my arm around in a parking lot with this on, it's probably going to attach itself to a car. I'm telling you, these are the strongest magnets. In fact, you can hardly pull them apart. You really kind of have to slide them uh, apart. But... <laughs> This is the first one I put on something. And when I was trying to make the bracelet, the goofy magnets kept flying all over the room, attaching themselves to stuff, attaching to the pliers, attaching to the wire, attaching to something else, just crazy. So anyway, if you see my arm fly off and attach to something, you'll know why. <laughs> but anyhow, I had buttons. Let me show you, I didn't know. Where did I put those buttons? Hold on, I'm coming back. <clears throat> I had two different kinds of gold buttons. You know, I have a button collection because when Jerry's mother died, she had clothes from the 1950s till now. She had hundreds, probably a thousand, maybe more than a thousand, blouses and pants. She had added a closet the whole length of a wall in one of her bedrooms with sliding mirror doors, and the entire top was blouses and the entire bottom was pants. And every pair of pants was hung on a special, it's a child size hanger, and she had crocheted around the bottom of the hanger. So when she put her pants on it, they wouldn't slide off. And yes, I kept some of those hangers and have them here somewhere. But anyway, a whole bunch of her blouses I gave away, but some of them I decided nobody's gonna wear, they were old fashioned, or they had a stain, or they had a hole, or whatever. Mom wouldn't throw them away if they'd caught on fire. She kept everything. So. These are buttons that I cut off her clothes, and I had two different kinds. I had this one that is, let me see, I can't get it to focus. Can you see? The light's kind of strange. Anyway, I had this size that's about a three quarter inch button, and then I had this size that I ended up using that's a half inch button. And the half inch button was really too little, and the three quarter inch button was really too big. <laughs> But anyway, I decided to use the little buttons down the front. I don't know if I made a mistake on that or not. So, it just buttons down the front, has waist darts in the front, waist darts in the back. And then I put the notch in the sleeve. You just make a facing for it to put that notch on. So, that's that. 
and uh, got the shoulders where my shoulders go and took a whole bunch off the sides and the hips and uh, then I went to find some pants you know I make pants too and I made these pants about I don't know four months ago and I found them and I thought ah, those match they're turquoise <laughs> and I put them on and they just about fell off of me they were so big so I had to sew some ugly tucks in the side of my pants they're still falling off but they're better than they were but anyhow I'll uh, take some still pictures of it if anybody cares but uh, sure fit designs a uh, dress kit is what I made it out of and um, now that I have it to fit me right and have my shoulder alterations and my um, <clears throat> round back and my sway back and all of that in it I can take it like I have before and make one whole front and start slashing it up or um, doing a yoke or doing a peplum or whatever I want to do okay so that's it so I'm gonna go to work no, maybe I won't go to work. I don't know if I'm going to go to work or not. I talked to the, my manager, Candy, yesterday, and I said I was going to come yesterday, but I got stuck up here making this blouse. So I told her I would come today, and she said, oh, I don't need you till Wednesday. So maybe I won't go till Wednesday. Maybe I'll go ahead and cut something else out and get it started. Okay? So it's Tuesday. Got the rest of the week to sew, and I hope you're sewing, and I hope that you show me what you make someday because I show you everything I do. Okay, Joy signing off. Bye.